All right. Yes. Now, how to play Malay? Can you teach me how to play Malay? Sure. Uh, I can. Uh, I actually have. Oh no, the recorded games don't work anymore from past patches, right? So I can't show you a game where I won with Malay without elephants against elephants. Oh my gosh. Okay. Because I had a really good game with Malay where I didn't do elephants and won. Is that against... because you made two-handed swordsmen with your food? Or... No, I didn't. No. Oh. Just halberdiers, onagers, and obelisks. Okay. Bombard well, cannons as well. Is this build order in your guide? I did say that it is preferable to not do elephants, I think. Oh, yeah. You actually... I don't... You're right. It literally doesn't mention the word elephant or stable. It says four <laughs> to six racks. It says five to seven ranges, then castles. Okay, so I don't yeah. know where I had it in my mind that we build elephants, even though we know they're crappy. All right. Well, let's do it. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not impossible to not not. It's like, as I said in the guide, there's a bias towards my playstyle, and I mm -hmm. just prefer um other stuff instead of elephants okay i don't like i don't like them that much i think they're too slow sluggish and weak awesome i am morally hope that wasn't too painful to watch no of course not i mean all of us have learned at some point i mean we we've all improved because people believed in us and took time to point out our errors and coach us so I hope you had fun, Morley, and I look forward to playing DM I mean, with you. The start future. is never really that fun. To be fair. No, it's not. <laughs> but it's so important. Like, let me present you this awesome, so fun. But if you get into it, it gets very fun indeed. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, Keller is totally right. If it was something like, let's say, Gold Rush, maybe I would prefer elephants. Just to get the middle. Okay. Um. Yeah. So even but, uh, like in yeah, both... elephants just die so quickly to everything that fi fires arrows, like uh, melee elephants, because they don't have the they neither have bloodlines nor, um, nor plus two defense. So even if you're in like like in deathmatch World Cup three. Uh, Malay on four legs was one of the preset options. So even if you have like extra food, it it still wouldn't be a good idea to make the elephants. I mean, you can do them. I don't. I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, it's probably a waste of gold anyway. Um, okay, I mean, so... I think I think they're not. I think they're not impossible plates. It's not like it's not like say. Skirms and scorpions for hunts or something. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a. It's still totally viable. It's just, it just, I think it's. It depends how you want to play it and how you execute it. Hmm. Um... Okay, so how do we do this now? Okay, so I basically I want to learn how to rush with this sieve, and how to do a good build up, and. Okay. Um, when, of course, without bombard towers, without you know those shenanigans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, I mm -hmm. when I so the way the way I think what Callan did at as no no, no this, that was Burmese. Sorry, sorry. Wrong. Yeah, sure. So Malay, um, I wouldn't rush at all. Just get your light cap out at the beginning. Build the barracks. Build the arbalests. Um, siege workshops, castles. Okay. So you don't really rush at all. All right. Um, okay, we can do. We can do. Uh, should I co-op you or? Yeah, sure. How do you want to do it? Yeah, co-op with me, and we'll go against the uh, barbarian. Oh God, I haven't played against barbarian in ages. Wait, wait. What's what difficulty is this on? Um, okay, let's. Know. It says right standard. On. That's too easy. Do you think hard will be okay? 
Let's just go moderate. Sure. No, no, no. It's oh, fine. Yeah. Go okay. whatever. Yeah, we'll go hard. Yeah, morally, Not of sure course. how realistic it is, but it's fine. I hope you enjoy time with your family, morally. Family first, of course. Uh, this will this strategy will probably be a bit hard. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe will be a bit harder against barbarians since it it pushes you very hard at the start. But okay. let's see. Oh, Dream Legend! Let's Thank see. you for the thousand bits. Welcome, BM fourteen. Yeah, we got the amazing comments over here. So, so how fortunate are we? The author of the beginner um, DM guide. You do Alias with Burmese and Viet, right? Yeah, I do them with Alias and Burmese. Um, although, although, I can say now with um, Kellen, we ha for DM World Cup three, we had a Burmese strat which involved no elephants <laughs> and CA. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it was basically. Champions, um, CA, Arbalest, uh, Siege. Yeah. <laughs> to take quick map, map control. Do for me, he somehow pulled it. Upgrades? See, somehow, see, he somehow, no, he, they don't get thumb ring. Okay. So. We're gonna but go he won't. This... We we would only do CA like four ranges and to raid, and that's it. Uh... It's it's pretty. It's actually pretty disgusting. Not gonna lie. Um. But he somehow pulled it off. I tried to do it myself and died miserably every time. But he kind of made it work. He always had more pop than his enemy and didn't spend a, any resources at all. It seemed like. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go into this game, and I do you want do you want to play, and we'll we'll watch your build. Sure. All right. And if your wrist is hurting or anything, you just let me know. Fine. Or arm. All right, pretty nice hills on this map. <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, I was like going to remind you, but didn't want to mess up your flow. Okay, so only halves. So would you make two-handed swordsmen? I mean, it's obviously very nope. situational, but nope. would you make them at all, nope. ever? Nope. No, yeah, of course, in late, late game, if, when you don't have uh, gold anymore. Mm -hmm. Then you do them, of course, because they okay. perform much better than trash. Why is Barbie talking in such riddles? Oh, it's talking to you? Yeah, it's talking Why to you. Why isn't it talking to me? It, it said, like, I target player 4, and I'm like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, who else did you target? No one else is here. And now it's 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 uh, asking for resources. I don't get why it's talking to you and not me. Maybe some co-op stuff. So what you're doing right now, you're patrolling in with how would you typically do this 
in a game in melee, like a foul braid yep. to pick off. Yep. And as you notice, I also send a small group on both sides um, around. Yep. Wow. Okay. That's really awesome. I guess I only just, do like, such horses. a simple thing to do. Such a simple, simple thing to do, but will pick off an, any eco. Like you see how I patrol both the goals. Right. Yeah. We've denied all of the piles. Um, Arthur, do you have a cabbage wrap? I, I, I do. Somewhere. So you're sending in waves of like 20 units to the different locations. Yeah, because it's already over. I don't really care anymore, to be fair. I'm just, I'm very impressed. I mean, sometimes this happens to me in a game, and I guess I just only thought that you could raid with horses, you know, because they're faster, but this is working so well. Just, just units at a certain place at a certain time just will do damage. Uh, what you can do is you can um, shift patrol units on the minimap just where you want them to go, and it's done. Not Ooh. much effort, but so much outcome. Shift patrol? Wow! Okay, I, I've i never used that before. Shift patrol? I'm gonna do that. Just, and you can shift patrol on the minimap, so basically you can go around the minimap everywhere. Like every gold uh, just, pile, just uh, shift patrol it. You have to be careful though, you don't want to devour too many of your units, because then you will just lose the middle. Especially on this map. Okay. And you already got relics. Um, Daisy used the 25% bigger minimap mod. Oh, okay. GG, that was excellent. GG. Well, now I'm gonna try. Uh, Barbie doesn't play this well. It didn't make any units. Yeah, I guess. Like, it, it did make stables, but it doesn't make elephants. Yeah, Seems I guess like. it doesn't really know how to play those sibs. I think it only knows, like, Frank's funds, Goths. It knows the basic AOC sifts very well. I know that much. Uh, it hmm. should know the... It kind of knows the new sifts, but doesn't make elephants. I mean, I guess I could play against an actual human, right? If we have a... a per, or someone who wants to participate, and you can just kind of coach me through that. Yep. Okay, if, we can uh, do that. We have a volunteer that wants to go against me in a Malay war, I know, so fun and appealing. By the way, by the way, I'm planning, since the new expansion comes out next week, I think, right? Or mm -hmm. the week after that, the week after that, right? So, in two weeks? What, what was it? Um, I actually have no idea when it uh, comes out. 26th? Was it? I don't know. Hmm... Um, hey, Joker, how's it going? January, January the 26th. Okay. So I'm planning to um, try the new Civs 4DM and stream that. So you stream? I do have a... I, did stream occasionally. I did stream quite a lot actually in 2016. In the M. Alright, so guys, make and sure you proactively follow the mensor. I if my arm lets me, I will try the new Civ Sword DM. I really want to do the Flemish Pikeman. Uh just <laughs> <laughs> late game shenanigans. I still, I, I still have clips. I think, like when when the earliest I ever did stream, there weren't clips. There weren't clips enabled back then. Like there wasn't a thing like clips. Um. But I think, wait, you can watch that one clip on stream. That was really nice. Uh, that was a nice energy shot from DM game three years ago. 
Oh. Uh, I should have linked it in chat. Yeah, sure. Uh, um, and Keller, do you not think that the Flemish pikeman thing? I mean, maybe that won't be a capability since it's probably going to be a castle tech right, of some there you sort. Go. Right, three years ago. Oh gosh, HD. No, it's not HD. It's actually Fubli. Oh, Fubli. Okay. The onager shots look so strange. Oh! Wow! That was like an eight for one deal. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. You can't see? Oh gosh. I guess you'll have to click on it yourself. <laughs> oh. Okay, I forgot the sounds I was making. <laughs> <laughs> you can just um, <laughs> voice act it for us. <laughs> uh, um, no. Okay. Oh my gosh, Elder is yellow. No, I have to find another color. It is a little bit NSFW, to be fair. Yeah. Okay, so I'm ready. I think you did like a five and five build. Or nope. six and six. I just do five seven or five six. Okay, five or six. six. It doesn't really. It's not too important. Okay. All right. I'll start the, the first... game. Wait, it's the first elder. Oh. Oh, that's what they. Oh my gosh, oh. I didn't understand what that meant. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <The> elder. <laughs> The elder should be capitalized, not gonna lie. Oh gosh, I feel silly. Oh gosh. The thing you did there, I wouldn't even delete it. I think I it would know. take more out of more more out of it to delete it than just leaving it. Yeah, I just like wanted to look good. <laughs> You're right. No, it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do the uh, pod patrolling in. Okay. I also think that um, if you're just starting out, I think quick walling uh, in the M start is a bit like deer pushing in a dark age in random map. If you don't have the dark age down, don't try to deer push or anything. Just get a dark age down. Uh, same for quick walling in DM. Okay. Don't try to quick wall if you haven't gotten the start down efficiently. Um, how am I housed? Oh my gosh. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna send my first group in. Okay, <laughs> and then would you start making TCs, I guess? at this point, or am I kind of making them too early? Mm, at the moment, the biggest problem you have is you only have one villager building a house, houses. Okay. So I would totally start making TCs. Just pull two of the villagers you have working on one TC and make houses instead. That sounds like a good idea so I can get caught up a bit. Because right, so you have so many buildings at this point, they pr you need to have houses, houses, houses. Like in oh. one cycle, you produce one, two, three. We have uh, 14 buildings producing something. So in one cycle, you produce 14 units. So you need like three villages per half to uh, get them all out, get all those units out. Okay. So I got all my buildings up. I think I made a couple more extra than I intended. I'm doing the, the shift you patrolling and I really like it. Kind of revolutionized my gameplay here. That was also already possible in AOC, by the way. Yeah, You're not patrolling at all, by the way. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like at the front, at the front right now, uh, in the middle. Your army in the middle just oh disappeared. My... Wait, what? <laughs> 
Oh no! Oh, we didn't patrol oh. them. We patrolled everyone else. <laughs> yeah. The other, like, look how much damage it's done. It it went around to the secondary goals, and yeah. that's where all the eco is. If you just move a few units to the main gold now, they will do so much damage. Just a few units. It's just a, such a little action. Just move them there, and they will do work. Just let the let the units help you. Help the units help you. Sure. Yeah. Gosh, I've been housed this whole game. This is abysmal. You have a 130 pop, though. Yeah. Pretty good. That is, that is good. You're winning so hard right now. Yeah. It's Not all because funny. of the strategy, you know? I actually, um, in the queue last night, was trying a weird strat that I saw Skull Kid do, and it's uh, 22 archery ranges with, like, market push. And it was... Uh, what? It was, for yes, which? Yes. Uh, for Britons. And it was insane, and uh, made me think a lot about housing. Mm, okay. <laughs> it was good, good uh, practice for building homes. You're attacking at barracks right now. Okay, this is bad. Good. Okay. And then what do you want to I... think about now? You have a you have a great lead right now. How do you? How do get, you transfer this to a win? I get bombard cannons, right? Yeah, you do. So I could build those. Now, what what are you? What is your goal now for the um, game to to get the win? So for this, I want to make sure that I can keep him off of his gold entirely here, so that town center never goes up. And then mm, that would be quite aggressive. Yeah. Not necessary. Okay. Quite aggressive. Um, if I were you, I would get the hill behind that, behind that, like really solidify that hill. And when you solidify that hill, that hill, he will have way less map control. Oh. And you can still push on that gold. You can still pressure him because he will always have to fight, um, uh, uphill. Okay. If you take the risk now, as you did. You risk losing your whole push and your whole momentum. This is really helpful to see my uh, idea failing here, because this is how I would typically play in a 1v1, and then it would fail. And just doing this simple thing of building that castle there on that hill rather than right next to their gold makes such a big difference. Also very good pointing out from Keller, also then after that, when you secure when you secure this position, get the extra golds, get the relics, and then you can't really lose anymore. Normally. So then he's at thinking, this point, uh, yeah. At yeah. this point, you already should have onagers. You should have siege workshops at your base, and you should have onagers on that hill. Okay. Because if you had like three onagers there, he could do nothing. That's nothing he could do. I mean, would the karambits be a good? Cause I, mean, I see all these skirms here. Obviously, would. Karambits be good against... If you have like a hundred Karambits there, they would clean up. I'm just thinking of like the cheapest way I could deal with these things, because just watching myself die here is not ideal. Like at the moment, also elephants would do just fine. Because <laughs> all these skirms. Uh, I don't want to make yeah. them. Okay, I'm just going to move back. Mm -hmm. Like losing to skirmishes at 14 minutes is not an option, okay? No, no just definitely one, not. Just, just putting that out there. It won't be an option. It, will, it won't happen, I promise. So we got onagers queuing up, we got Karambas. We have a whole lot of gold, too. Um, and these rogue villagers, I don't know where they think they're going. Nice, 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 nice spot on the minimap. Very nice. Oh. Um, as you can see, he's taking quite a few, map, quite a lot of map control from oh. you. We need, yeah. to, we, we we can't let that happen. All right, so now we have our. We can't let out. that castle get up. We can't let that castle go up. If I have my honor. If you let this castle go up, then I've. Basically... I'm gonna, I'm gonna resign. I'm gonna You're resign. Gonna resign? I'm go out of the game. I'm gonna okay. resign. We gotta get over. Get there. out of the game. If you let, the, if you let the castle go up, I'm gonna. 
gonna resign and get out of the game. <gasps> okay, that castle's not going up. There's a lot of hills. It's close. It's getting Ghost. close. Okay, okay. Okay, okay we've, 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 uh, we've denied it now. Okay. Good. So now I basically just need to make siege workshops that are actually protected. Since he's so preoccupied... Uh, yeah, that's a good point. And since he's so preoccupied with that hill, you can expand to the south. Take the gold there. Yeah, I can build a couple of castles. These skirms and, and scorpions. And don't, don't, um, your obelisks are not doing anything right now. They're just shooting the castle. Oh, yeah. So we could probably... Well, I can't take down a castle yet, but... Guard cannons. Okay, so now that it's heavy scorpions, I think I have enough villagers at this point. Okay, you have to. Back, pull yeah. back to my castles. That castle will be up in like a, a second, so that'll be a good, good fight. Then... I think you're still in a very, very nice position. You have the both extra golds. You could go for relics as well now. And as you, as you, as you've seen, <clears throat> that one hill, even though he didn't even build the castle, um, took so much of his attention away because he didn't okay. want to let you get this hill. That you could expand on other sides of the map, even though you you didn't lose anything, basically, just a little bit of building, just a, a few buildings, it's just buildings, right? Right. No key things on the map. Yeah, that's what that's what Kellen says a lot. It was just a, just a building. But now that you have BBC up, uh, my onager, they're kind uh, of useless. Not really. Just believe in them. Just you gotta believe. Gonna... I don't know. And don't don't lose to skirms and scarves. <laughs> I'll try not to. Okay. Uh. See, look, look, your honor just is doing work. Your honor just yeah, is doing work. I definitely screwed up oh, you, at you, some you point. Have, you could have fought that with the with the karambits, I think. Yeah, the karambits just... are gonna do the work. Oh gosh. What have I done? You're doing fine. Repair your castle. Okay. Just delaying something uh, a few minutes in game time can make or break a game. Okay. I need more repairing this castle here. Just, okay. Select all your castles, put the waypoints um, inside your base, and just spam your karambits. Spam karambits. Okay. You have no wood left. You don't have much wood left. Just max yourself out of karambits. Okay, I just, like this idea. Just do it. And yeah. you know you want to. You know you want to do that. I mean, sure. Why, why not? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't repair that castle. But I can totally build more castles. It'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, totally fine. Oh, um... Look at the south. Your karambits are dying. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, that is waypoints. <laughs> okay, and if you produce karamis like that on the side, you can uh, run them in at any point. If you have like 30 down there, you can run them at any point in Hinsiko. Okay. Like if you if you start an assault in the middle, just run them in at the same time and villagers will die. Oh shoot. Okay, now that I have a treb here. Ooh. Oh, another castle around my base. Okay, now that I have arms against all these karamas, I think I think it'll be okay. You're kind of losing grip. You're losing control of this game. Yeah, I am. I think 
I mean, I have a bunch of idle bills. I over queued like crazy. Mm, you're losing too many units for nothing. Mm -hmm. I think my bad like, way every, every, you, what do you, what do you do? What do you do a lot is run in. Uh, seeing, oh my, that might, might not be a good fight. Running away and then losing more units than you would have ha had if you just fought in the process. Right. Just commit sometimes. Like, commit and pr just reproduce. Okay. I think we're still okay. Just gotta get my ego to work. Yeah, I don't, still don't think you're in a terrible position. I mean, I lost my very good position, unfortunately, but... You still have a lot of... You need to clean those karambits up in your base. That's a big priority. Mm. Uh, you can't let him push you like that in your base. And... You still have both golds. Both extra golds. And I think... Um, yeah, I do Just... too. So, I guess I could... Yeah, clean this up with two hands, maybe? I think that castle should go down. Okay, there we go. 50 idols, let's put them back to work. Exactly, we need more villagers as well. Again. Oh gosh. Mm, okay, let's get the trevs on that. Repair the castle at the top. Yes. Let's repair that. Oh, that might go down. Let's pull this back here. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of my base, kill those trevs. Okay, okay, looking looking good. It doesn't seem like he can keep up production now. Oh my gosh, my bombard cannon is in the worst position ever right now. Uh, uh. I think you lo you're losing so many units to just waypoints. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I feel like I, I had a good advantage and then I lost it for that. Uh, okay, seems like he has killed a lot of uh, a lot of your eco, but hasn't really made an eco himself. At least that's what it feels like right now. Hmm. Potentially, just gotta keep this gold here on the right hand side, and then. Also, every keep... now and then, it, it's not bad to just rate the eco of the opponent to just see how much they have. Okay. It's sometimes just good indicators of like how how much do they have? Like how is it how are they looking? Um I mean right now, because of the points, I would always assume that you're far ahead in pretty much everything right now. Mm -hmm. Since you lost so many more units than him, I think. Or not many more, but you lost I think a sizable chunk more. But they're still ahead in points massively. Right. No stone. Now I know yeah. we had so much stone and now we have none. Exactly, and there's GG. Less okay, GG. nice hold. Really but nice hold. It wasn't as good as it could have been. Close. It was really that was close. close. That GG was to close. honor okay. to Elder. Can we, can we request them doing elephants instead at the start? Like, we Just all do elephants? No, like no, no. Me and like the opponent? The, the opponent doing elephants, so we can see how it plays out. Yeah, maybe... Because uh... that, was the, that was the entire reason of this. How, why uh, why would you not do elephants? Okay, so maybe uh, Keller or Daisy. Or, or maybe you, but obviously you would, you would win. And Keller might also be too strong. Yeah, that's true. Daisy and I are uh, similar. I don't, I don't want to put anyone on the spot, of course. I mean, Elder can go again as well. Yeah, Elder. Just do Elephants this time. That would be great. Um, how elephants many and Scorpions and stuff. How many stables um, would our opponent build? Mm, I mean, they have cheaper Elephants, five. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, can you play with extreme AI? Oh, um, the not standard really. AI, <laughs> the standard extreme AI. That's easy. Um, also, Jack in all shades, I'm so sorry. Um, I did not say hi. And Barto, this is if you just click on the globe or world picture right here, you can switch to the elevation map. So it's not a mod that you download, it's just part of the game. And DM players often will use that elevation mod because, or map, sorry, uh, because it's so important in DM to take advantage of the hills and castle them, as you can see here. Oh no, Elder! No, you did a perfectly fine. No, we didn't. No, we we didn't. We didn't say you should go for elephants. So... Yeah, um, it was just really good to just play a regular melee war. Now you are doing elephants. If you want to participate, you you don't have to. You could try to track the one else down. <laughs> All right. Now, Elder is a very good Forest Nothing player, from from what I recall. Mm, okay. Yeah. Oh, cool! You'll go. Awesome. I don't know why it's not your name's not coming up. Satola, this game mode is deathmatch, so you start with. Actually, let's see how the game describes it. All players start with huge stockpiles of food, wood, gold, stone, and then fight to the death. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, okay, death. Match. I'll be right back. One minute. Yeah, sure. Uh, just shoot me an invite, so. Okay, I Very will quickly, certainly do so that. So I can join before that. Okay, going Monday. Sure. Okay, so I learned something new here, which is exciting. You know, obviously we do beginner coaching to teach a beginner, but I'm learning a lot. And I think I'm also learning how important it is to master the basics. And I already see things that I could definitely be doing better. <laughs> it's, it's tough because, you know, I think the vast majority of people that are trained by Clem are very strong players now, just like all the players that Doro trained are very strong. Obviously, me as a coach, I am a proponent of positive encouragement, but that, that doesn't work for people that truly want to be the best. It works if you just want to fight to the death. Like they, like they say in the description. But I know that when I train with Drew, he's very strict. And I do appreciate that. Who's Clemensor? Uh, Sedola. Clemensor is a top DM player who actually wrote the beginner guide that we all reference. Hang on, I gotta get, I gotta close this lobby. It's getting crazy up in here. Oh, you're lazy and your gameplay self-esteem is bad. Oh, Daisy. Yeah, I've, I've just been trying to do as many coaching streams as I can to try to get new people into DM. Because eventually, you know, we will have another event in DM and we want as many people possible to participate in it. All right, I'm back. Ooh, welcome back. Hey. I'm ready. Wait, Another... I was away. Why are you scared of me? What? What? Why I'm are not... they scared of me? Why is da Daisy scared of me? I mean, <laughs> she didn't mean it. Like, that's a kappa, right? Right. <clears throat> um, uh, right. Yes, the one talking is coming. Is it so... Daisy or is it Daisy? I never, I never, knew, I never know how to pronounce it, by the way. Well, I think her situation is the same as my username. It's just kind of like a, a thing. It doesn't have an official pronunciation, but Daisy's the, the, I guess, an acceptable variation. 
of how to say it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, any tips on how I could have played that last game? I think my production fell behind. Elder, I think uh, one of the things Commencer mentioned during the game is that he felt your ego wasn't replaced after it died. Well, it didn't die. It, it seemed like it never really came to fruition in the first place. Mm -hmm. and then... So at, at, at some point, you just couldn't sustain your units anymore. <laughs> Yes, Daisy, that's a very specific event. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a uh, event where Finns have to team with Swiss people. Also, you might want to specify with, I don't know what your rating range is, but your rating range is, I think, uh, is these in RM 1500, 1600, maybe? Like that range, Swiss players at that range, because there are a lot of Swiss players out there. You're right. We should specifically say that. You'll take either Ruben, Max, or Belize. <laughs> You're 13 XX. Oh, just just roll with it, okay? I mean, she's 1600 DM. Don't don't let her fool you. She's the top female player in the ladder and right. the top Swiss player. Being this modest over there. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, so Elder's oh, yeah, going yeah, to make. To wait. Oh, sorry. sorry. So oh, didn't. You're on your own, Clemenceau. <laughs> <laughs> Free fall. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so Elder is going to do five stables. And you wanted Scorpion? Is that what you wanted? Elephant and Scorpion army? Or just. Sure. I, like, do elephants. You can mix in Arbalest and Halbidus as well, of course. Okay. Yeah. And Cal for you. Like, basically, the, the same thing he did last game. Just with elephants. with elephants. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I'm ready to try it out against that. Okay. Ready to learn. <laughs> That's a bit mean, Keller. Okay. <laughs> it comes along with the mean. <laughs> They're cool. We're trying to show that Malay is actually playable and fun. <laughs> I mean, it's not really... They're not good by any means at all, but, uh, you know. In a mirror match, as a, like, trying them out in a mirror match to prove how good they are is a little bit... Yeah, they're not good. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know. By the way, what's, what's, what's with these maps we get today? All All of these maps have, like, this hill... Uh, yeah. Chain in the middle, and then the hills on the side. Everything is the same, it feels like. I've actually um, been getting weird generations where my gold is right on the edge of the map, so I'm really happy to not see that this time. Mm. That's like terrible generation. Okay, let's knock it. How is this? Is time? there a better under 20 year old um, Winchester, maybe? I think Winchester is still under 20. Hmm. Well, Keller is like 14, right? 15? 14? <laughs> 18? 19? I don't know. How old is Keller? I heard absurd numbers. Every time I hear it, it's it's something different, so... Okay, I see... Scouts? But Winchester, I think Winchester is still younger than 20 and he's pretty good in dm so i would say winchester is the best under 20 who actually plays dm of course if leary really practiced dm he would be better i am certain of that yes would be cool if he did practice it that'd be fun to see i actually kellen i played against leary in dm when he was getting better and kellen was also teaching him a little bit of dm 
I played against three games against Leary back in 2016. I remember. Hmm. Um, I won all of them. But he wasn't that good back then. Like, he was on the edge of getting 2k in Bublé, in RM. Oh my gosh. Okay, so see, how, the... see how nice these side things are? And how <laughs> all of his army from the middle is diverted to the to the edge? Yes. And now you just can ca place castles in the middle without anything disturbing you? Isn't it nice? Yes, like I feel like I just increased like this 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 will increase your elo by two hundred points. Like you know how I told you I haven't won a game since Tuesday? Like I feel mm. like I can win a game maybe nice. using this uh, strategy. Just um, engage there, just engage the Oh scorpions. yeah, yeah, you're right. I should just engage. It's just four scorpions. They don't yeah, they don't have anything backing them up. Just patrol them and just get the, the buildings on the ca on the hill, that's the priority right now. Okay. Not a few units. Halbs are dispensable. Yeah, let's take this hill. This hill's okay, crazy. Arps, arps, arps should be retreated. Totally. And now you're too late on the hill, on that side. I think maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Oh gosh. I mean, I guess I could engage now, which is kind of an awkward fight. You you have to try it to know it. Yeah, this, I think it's such a good Take it as a learning experience. Now. Yeah, take it as a learning See how quickly those dirty elephants die. What? And if you had onages now, if you had a few onages now, those scorpions wouldn't do anything. Shit. They wouldn't do shit. And without elephants backing them up, they aren't shit either, so... Cool. So, I guess... Uh, another thing, obviously, there's scorpions. Would Karambits be a good thing to make versus the scorpions? Or is Helms kind of just as effective? Uh, just the onages. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a false equivalent. Yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. This is it's why, like uh... asking... I don't know. <laughs> It's you like asking, are our villagers good against um are villagers good against archers or should I do militia? Okay. Kind of, kind of wrong question. That makes total sense. See, this is why we have you here to help us think differently. But I need to um, my ego figured out a little bit, kind of get more units queued. I'm not housed. I'm pop cash. Daisy, it's just a few onages. Um, can okay. you coach on how to get good at you this game? You can snipe them. Okay, nice. I'm gonna Okay, the where are your onages, by the way? Where are my onages? I forgot them. I said, you need onages with this. Uh, otherwise it won't work. Also, right. get your castle up. Yeah, I'm so okay, close nice. to getting that castle up too. Oh my god, you, you, <laughs> that's why I'm like asking about alternative memes to get scorpions down. <laughs> I forgot onagers existed. Or bomb of cannons. Okay, excellent. Bomb of cannon. We got three, uh... oh yeah, bomb of cannons, let's do that. Now you are at this, at this awkward point. Where you're so popped that you can't get siege out and push. <laughs> I'll I'll sacrifice some halves, right? Ooh, sure. if I had an onager, you could, could you imagine? You could, oh my you, gosh. could you could sacrifice them more. You could sacrifice sacrifice them better though. I think if you let them run around into the eco or something. Okay. You would still sacrifice them, but they would do at least some damage and not just melt away. Mm hmm. You're only producing from two TCs. Ooh, my gosh. Yeah, let's let's produce way more. Okay, do I have Bombard Cannons up? Let's do this. 
<laughs> Sadola, yeah, Viper is good at deathmatch. Yeah, he won the uh, World Cup. You're in such a great position. I think taking those hills, like you pointing them out, was a good decision. Where's the last goal? Oh, you have and, and the hill there. Okay, yeah. The the there awkward one at the at the top. No, not the top. I, I at the second castle there. Well, leave me alone. South. Oh my god. My bombard. It's fine. It's only like one k, one hundred, one thousand, two k. Go to Our would yeah. be freaking out right now if they saw that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's a stupid castle. That's so stupid. Uh, uh, I got an onager. Not afraid to use it. Oh, the castle's there. Okay. Look at her just just smashing those oranges. What? Uh, smashing those scorpions. There you go. I I knew exactly what you meant. I didn't even notice that you said the wrong word. In my head, I I noticed how I wanted to say <laughs> oranges, and in my head, I correct myself to scorpions, but still said oranges. <laughs> uh. Okay, I think we got this game. I think so too. Once you were like, hey, Yonagers exist. And I'm like, oh, right. Mm. They, they totally exist. Um, what you need to be careful though is you should have at least three to four TCs rallied to wood. As you can see, you have so much wood. <laughs> uh, you need so much wood. You don't yeah. have, uh, you're losing a lot of wood. And you have 11k gold. So. It's very cost-effective way of fighting. Not the most population effective, but very, very cost-effective. Okay, yeah, I have a ridiculous amount of gold here. But absolutely no wood. I I and don't need for to. the late game, or for the middle game and late game, you want to have a lot of farms. For Indians. Karambits and uh, Two-Handed Swordsman. Hmm... Okay. So that's where you want to go, eventually, is to into a lot of farms. Okay, now we can mass our. But this game is deck. over. Yeah, and and the did, did a good job of showing exactly why. You no, I mean, I think you works. you ex executed it very well with the side rates at the beginning. Very nice. Yeah, that was very exciting. I think I I just didn't realize you could cue that movement. I thought you had to like go over there and look. So now even you don't necessarily. I mean, I will look at certain times, like when it arrives. But and you have to coordinate it with the minimap. Mm -hmm. Like you have to look at the minimap. But it's not necessary because they will still do some work. Right. Right. And at least to divert the attention of the opponent. That was super fun. We have Crazy okay. Joe and Guan Franco here. Hey, how's it going? Is there another challenger or do we want to do something else? Yeah. Is there, is there a, a Malay challenger out there that wants to put the strategy to the test again? Magnolia, she's emerging from the lurk. Do it, Magnolia. Or Daisy wants to try. Oh. Well, whoever shows up, I will go against you. Okay, Hamza asked me in a private message to No, don't play, answer uh... him. Don't Wait, answer why? that. Don't do slob. We don't we don't do that here. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just, I was just, I was just, I, I, I didn't say I was gonna do it. I was just saying why. Oh. I wanted to see something in Barbarian for some reason. It's hard. It's hard to push. It's push in Slavs work. 
Well, of course, it's hard to push. It's pushing Slavs war because barbarian micros it siege just relentlessly and just goes goes all out siege. So, what do you recommend for? I guess. So, if you can't push that, how do you hold against that? I haven't played against Barbie and Slavs. Hmm. I don't yeah. know. I haven't tried it. Lil T. Or Lilt. Sorry. No. I forgot to invite our coach. Oh, wait. Yep. Um. Uh, I think Daisy's color is actually teal, so I can resort back to my yellow and, and thank you elder again for going against me for learning purposes i appreciate that uh fede hello all right so malay uh i'm curious okay first game of the day what's your favorite excuse clemensor You don't have any. I like that. I I haven't I haven't played a lot. That's my favorite one. But it's kind of true. <laughs> yeah, that's a very valid excuse. Uh, I don't do excuses too much. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I do them, but I don't think I do them too much. All right. Oh shoot. Uh, Lord Tito. All right, good luck, have fun. Because there's always a reason to lose, right? Right, an actual reason. Doesn't really matter often what reason it is. Or it doesn't matter. Most times it doesn't really matter. Oh, shoot. For the opponent, at least. I don't know what my mouth just did there, but we got delayed a second. That's fine. Yeah. The thing is, you learn all these things about little, the, the tides and needy buildups, everything. And then you see like an old school DMer who is 2k4 or whatever. Uh, build his buildings in some strange way and still yes. win and you're like, why? What have I learned? Why do, did they did they let me do this? Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I feel that way, but then you know, I realize you gotta focus on the basics. I just thought I was spectator and wanted to put uh, wanted to put out the fork of war. <laughs> Look at the other players. <laughs> that's that's Marco yeah. Polo. <laughs> yeah. If you uh if you ever use cheats, which I doubt you do. But you never I did cheats. when I was a kid. I I had the game as a kid on laptop and didn't play online at all. Just me and the AI doing and the map editor most of the time, just um, throwing armies at each other. <laughs> what days he's going elephantos? But what a surprise! <laughs> okay, you need to patrol your army, by the way. In the front. Uh, yes. They are patrolling yeah. right now. But they're going to, doing a good job, I think. They're still not patrolling, but it's fine. They're not? They would be fighting if they were, would have been patrolled, right? Yeah. Okay. There you go. So this is a very awkward hill. Oh, shoot. Yep. And it's pretty important. Yeah. I'd it's say. not. You wouldn't. You don't lose the if you lose it, you don't lose the game. But if you win it, you probably win the game. Okay, and you need to prioritize workshops now. Okay? Okay. You need siege workshops. This bloodline is so annoying. Like would you build the workshops behind like that to be a little conservative? Or would you try to build them? Uh, don't block the pathway. Don't block the pathway. Oh yeah, let's definitely not build that there. Yeah, I would, I would build them. I will build them. Maybe where you build the houses now, like around there. 
probably. Okay. Yeah, no need to clutter the space. Okay, now that I have that hill, I can build the castle. Then onagers. And come centers. Take a look at the map. Castle the other hill. If you look at the map also, all the golds are on your side. So even if you're if you lose this hill, you have still have a chance of winning this game. And now it's just your duty to camp the hill. Yeah, it's very unlucky. Oh shoot! That was a... Mm -hmm, this is mm -hmm. a terrible situation. We gotta get out of there. Okay. Why am I never getting relics? Oh, that's not part that's of not, my. Not, uh... That's not important right now. Okay, you have other things to worry about. Well, he's like right. your obelisk, for example. Like your obelisk, for example. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that was so good. Yeah. This is a dangerous game we're playing here. Yeah, you're still blocking your way. You still blocked it one way with the siege workshop, so don't think that was a good idea. No. I'm just gonna delete that. Okay, so if that gets castled, at least I have other gold. That's fine. Maybe not, because they don't have enough onagers, they literally have one siege workshop. Mm. Uh, I think I lost too many units, and I don't have an eco that is... You have, still have tons of resources, though. Okay. So just I wouldn't say it's over, just fall back, fall back completely, get your waypoints behind your base, and let her let her waste a bit. Okay. I'll... Like Helen says, it's just building. He really does say that, and it it's made me feel a little better about losing castles. Yes, patrols. Also, really nice castle, um, down there in the middle. Oh, thank you. I like it. Okay, I need seed workshops in the back, maybe? Yep. Because I feel like with all of this, with all of these elephants, a lot of food and gold was wasted, potentially. You still have, you still have a lot of uh, resources. Get TCs up as well. You need some eco. Mm. Sneak attack. Oh, my karambits are running into a town center. Interesting. Yeah, I'm just gonna have them but for, attack okay, the ego. Look, um, look at the points right now. Normally yes. you would think you're totally lost, but you're not. You're actually, the points are close to in your to being in your favor even though you lost so much that is a good indicator that you're still very much in this game yeah i think she I threw know. a lot of eco away with the with the elephants good raid with the karambits i like it thank you figure is more useful than them just running into a town center oh they still are going into a town center are you denying a castle down there? Good, you should snipe that trebuchet. Killing your castle. At the bottom. Uh, oh. Just a few carambits will clean it up easy. 
Somebody okay. Has to say nice. Now we can uh, get some trebuchets out. Look at the points. She's totally, she's totally out of economy. What? I mean. Now you can. Now you can. You can do something. Um. Probably more I would wood, probably. Right? I would probably not push that hill, in front of her base. That would be a suicide move. I would push from that other hill you already have, and which, where all her TCs are, on the side, hmm. right? Where you're raiding right now. You want to push in there, because there's all her, all of her eco is there. You don't really care about that hill anymore. You have golds on the side. You have eco in the back. You don't need that hill. Fuck that hill. You go yeah. from that other hill. Yeah, let's go to the other hill. I like that idea. So we're gonna... Exactly. Sneak attack from the east. Well, not really sneak, but get a few trebuchets, get a few trebuchets, get a castle down and just roll into the base. Done. Easy. Love Easy it. game. Easy but life. Can we snipe that treb? Gonna be close. Yes. Yep. <gasps> Don't let the castle get up. Oh, that castle's not gonna go up. Well, actually, that. <laughs> <laughs> as she as she just <laughs> shot at the castle with all the armor. Okay. Uh, we have a trap. It's okay. Mm. Okay. You need more villagers to repair there. I think. Yeah. Can. I can just stall for another thirty seconds. Okay, so now Daisy is... Nice, nice, nice. Move forward. We need that other castle down, and then you can just... win. Look, she's trying to push your base, but she's not doing anything there. Like, what is there? A few buildings. Nothing there. Nothing there. It's like nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, that's a lot of vital bills. Where the heck are like, they? No, but don't don't rally your army into her army, okay? Oh, that... No, that would be that, great. That was really bad. That would be that would be great because just a few onages here it will clean it up a few Karen beds will clean it up easy. Okay, you I'm also need bad. to take a little bit care more care of your eco a little bit more farms a little bit more wood. And then you're totally fine. Probably a lot more wood. Okay, so now elephants are coming in, which we can attack. Rash? You're still running an army into her army. Hmm. Okay, let's gather a point back. Like you're kind, you're kind of, you're kind of trying to throw the game away right now. <laughs> I promise we won't. Okay, there's elephants here. Oh no, not the onagers. That was a very bad engagement. Okay, she's pushing back with the elephants and my castle in the south, but I think the castle fire will get the onagers. I mean, just target them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Come on. Hey, trebuchets. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we need... We have a lot of villagers. What did they do? Oh, I, I like Need nervously farms. queued up a ridiculous number of villagers. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. You have a good villager number. You just need to get them on farms. Oh, I have a lot of Karambits I didn't know about. I think you're still fully in this game. Despite my attempts to throw mm -hmm. it. Now, do you think transitioning to two hands could be a good idea here? Not yet, though. No. Yeah, not yet. Okay. 
I'm gonna try to sneak those onagers. Oh, hey, Strike Muffin, how are you? And hey, Papa Dragon. I'm about to see how mass karambits do against these elephants, and they actually, uh... Not too much, not too bad. Doing all right! Oh, don't let this castle go up. What the fuck? How? What, what castle? What? Oh my god, what are my karambits doing? How did you even get there in the first place is the better question. You're right. Okay, we need to flatten all these archers. Bada boom. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. I like how you quickly switched sides. Good job. Thanks. Oh, we're pop capped like very bad, bad pop cap. Bad pop cap. Okay, we need farms. I want to have. I want you to have sixty farms. Okay. Well, let's do it. In the next until minute forty, I want to have you sixty farms until minute forty. And you should also use your the golds you have under control. You should totally use them. Okay. No, I feel like I'm kind of running low on gold. So actually, no, I should just get the gold that's next to Daisy's castle. That'll be Arthur mine. says this guy is like my second grade math teacher. <laughs> well, I am a math teacher. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait to see the KD. Yep. We love it. We both have had some unfortunate Ooh. moments. Ooh. That was a nice shot. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Now, I have a lot of wood. Do you think I should sell them at this point for... Gold. Sure. And try to yep. make more onagers. Yep. We shouldn't make more villagers, though. You have enough. Oh, yeah. That's a bad idea. Um, remember how I told you to use the golds you have in control uh, in your control? Yes, the one right in front of me. No, like the ones on the side that you actually have under control. You should totally use them. Oh. Oh my god, that one. I had that under control. Both of them, actually. Both of them, yeah. <laughs> hey, Master Macintosh, thank you for the host. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. We are in an epic, epic DM game that Clement starts coaching me through. Hope you had a fun stream. Thank you. I'm gonna unleash my six trebuchets. Oh, look at the, the great migration right here. Yeah, just kill them. Kill all Let's of them. Do it. That's the plan. Don't let the castle go up. You're running by them. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Disaster. Mm. It's fine. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. It's like the two philosophies. One villager building, one castle in Aegis. Daisy. 20 villagers. <laughs> one, <castle. laughs> one got up. The other didn't. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, hmm? I actually mm. thought that Onager was down. Okay. okay, you're still in an okay position. But you should get control of that gold again. Mm -hmm. That should be your priority now. Okay. Yeah, I gotta TC that. And you can also um, get that hill in front of your base, I think, right now. But your priority should be securing of these golds right now, of both of these golds. You need these golds are what decides the game right now. Okay. Oh my god, that was such a bad fight. By the way, you. 
are close to having enough farms. Thank you. We're working on it. Okay, I see a sneaky stable on the side. They have a little bit too many resources. I need not too many resources, too many, too many villagers. villagers. Um, just, you have, just have to do something with it. Hmm. Oh, Rob like, Shen 130 villagers is too much for Malay. You shouldn't have more than 110 with Malay. They have very cheap units. Should I delete some? Yep. You can delete some lumberjacks. Maybe some farmers. You have a little bit too many farmers for my... Ah, uh, it's fine. It's fine for... for now. You only oh. have one gold miner, though. That doesn't seem, uh... Like that should be happening. Let's let's look into mm. this. Oh oh wow, that's a lot of idols there. Like at the moment, you're a little bit paralyzed because you can't produce gold units. Hmm. I could sell food. No, you have a gold mine. <laughs> mine gold. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm going to win Wait. this back. That is my goal. I'm going no, to you win. No, you do have you have one under your control. Which one? The, At the oh, corner, on the, the right corner. corner. Oh my god, how many is it's there? 800, 200. There we go. Whew. Okay. <laughs> we, we can breathe uh. again. All right. Oh, well, hello, Rob Chang. <laughs> so yeah, you can even do 200 swordsmen if you need, pop if you need to fill out population space. All right. Okay. There we go. So anyone who's idle, oh, it's trapping that side. These onagers are killing me. Okay, now scouts are coming in. Hmm. I think I should just build just, no, castle. Just, no, you can though? you can patrol that army. You can patrol it army. Okay. Yeah. Control it. Right. Okay. Not the only just though. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that okay. didn't even shoot. No, look, 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 look. We totally won that. That okay. was easy. We're slowly winning that uh that gold back. And then Daisy's gonna send a lot of scouts in here. Castle fire will hit them in the bottom corner. Just get a, f just. Get five halberdiers there. And don't always add your villages. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, town center going up. More honor. Hey Lernum, how's it going? Okay. Um, you're still doing very good. Only problem is, I don't think we have any relics. Mm, oh my gosh. She has, quite, she has all of them. That is quite the problem in a melee war. <laughs> <laughs> do you think I should make Scout have just like... She no. is, or do you think that my two hand can essentially think, serve as I don't that? think Black Calf are a good choice in this war. At all. I don't think you should make them. If you make a food unit, it should be two hundred swordsmen, two handed swordsmen. Okay. It should not be light calf. I don't think light calf are a good choice. Well, this is such a tough fight to push. By the way, you can still mine that gold in front of your base. It's better oh. to mine it. Then like, to... just mine it and get the resources. You might lose your villagers. It's not a big deal. Okay. I think I need more barracks in the front. Okay, you're still looking good. You're losing a lot of ground, though, on the side. Not good. On the right-hand side. And... Yeah. Mm, I can try to take down a treb. The one that's attacking me. Hmm. 
place from here. I can you build all those villagers building the barracks? They should be building a castle. Hmm. <laughs> like one villager building a castle is optimistic. I like it though. No, no, it, it's, it's optimistic. It's silly. <laughs> I guess it suits my personality. It's optimistic. Well, I, I, I appreciate the optimism. Yes. We, we need we need this we need this optim kind of optimism in these troubling times. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, Arthur, this game is still going on. I mean, me and you're, Daisy are very equal. You're and kind of crushing her door at the moment, I think. At the moment, it's been very back and forth. Yeah, those two-handed swordsmen are. Okay, get back to 60, 70 farms again. All right, can do. Because if we don't have any relics, we at least need to have like 100, 200 swordsmen or something. Okay, down the line. Oh, by the way, there's the monastery in front of her base. <gasps> Maybe sniped it with the trebuchet. Oh, that is too good. <laughs> the answer to our prayers, literally, the monastery. Wow. Oh, three relics there. Nice. Good, good, good start. Ooh. I'm quite curious how she... Kinda... She seemed in quite a dominant position. Hmm, maybe she diverted too many units on both sides. I'm not sure. I think... Maybe... I mean, if I was playing without you coaching me, I definitely wouldn't have made this many farms, so I wouldn't have been able to make that many long swords. Sure. So I feel like maybe she didn't have enough uh, farms. Yeah, probably. Maybe. All right, I think I officially like late like... game. Late game melee is basically about two hundred swordsmen, siege, and uh, karambits. Or if you can afford it, like if you have five relics, you can even afford obelisk, and then it's basically over. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, literally before you coached me, I had no idea how to play this set. And I think a lot you of us can also can... sell for karambits if you have enough food, if you need the speed. Yeah. Okay. Can you? Uh, what, do Do you notice anything about your base? Is that there's stable in it? Yeah. <laughs> how How can that, How did that happen? I don't know. By the way, your farms are so exposed. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I, I meant to build okay, a castle GG. on that hill, GG, um, and then I never built that castle there. Oh, GG. She actually does have a nice nice amount of farms, so I'm not sure. She even got the gold here. I mean, we kind of talked about maybe how... Maybe elephants weren't that cost effective. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> well, she also didn't have... <clears throat> um the like gold piles that i had such quick access to maybe right like they, they were kind of more on my side uh, and daisy we both were throwing at different points in that game and i just but had... well played though well yeah i mean played. i was being she, coached she had the way Steve. better eco by the way she had the way better eco yeah, let's let's check out the KD, which I know uh, folks wanted to see, larger army, better eco. Way to go, Daisy! You've also overboomed. <laughs> I mean, I I oh, would have as well. Lost a, Daisy lost a lot of villagers in the start. Your side raids really doing Ooh. work, it seems. Whoa. If you look at the timeline. Oh my gosh. That was really effective. So hey. when are we having a when are we having a team <laughs> Queen of DM tournament? When is that ha that happening? Uh, hopefully soon. I mean, we have me and Daisy, Ocean, Roxy. So hopefully soon. I know Hippo has also been playing some DM. And uh, Kugrialka, okay. a French player, she kicks my butt. 
in one I minute. have I have seven more minutes. Um, oh, any okay. quick questions? I'm up for it. Sure. If not, I just say good night now. <laughs> Before seven sleep. minutes. Guys, you have seven minutes to ask the author of the beginner DM guide any question. Any question you're wondering. Do karambits do well versus long swords? Well, versus long swords they do. Okay. Two handed. Yep, they do. Oh. <laughs> I think if you have if you have um well they do only take half a population space, right? So if you have five relics, just spam a lot of Karambits and they will trade very well against two-handed swordsmen. Because you can have potentially 200 Karambits against 100 two-hands. Right? For the same population space. Okay. And Arthur said, give us a quick math lesson. And I mean, I guess Clemenser kind of just did with the uh, <laughs> uh, Karambit math. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know enough words in English to be fair to give a quick math lesson in English. I could do it in German. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously uh, you wrote the beginner guide. Uh do you have any plans to make um an intermediate guide or are you going to be just building upon this guide with more helpful facts and updates not sure i'm waiting for the the new sifs now right and i'm also waiting for free time oh yes um so i'm not quite sure what i would put in a intermediate guide i mean if you can if you and others if they're interested could have a few suggestions or question questions i'm all all for it because okay. at the moment, I'm not really sure what I would put in there. Um, because my biggest suggestion would be play a lot. And right. learn as you go. Focus on specific things that you want to improve on. Um, yeah. I think but if you have fair. any 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 things that you would, ha would want in there, um, just collect them. Okay. Maybe I can do something like that. Because as I said... At the moment, I wouldn't really know what to put in there. Yeah, I think um, like me and Daisy, we're, we're not beginners, but we're not kind of intermediate or expert. We're, we're in that in-between point. So I think for us, it's just tough trying to figure out how to get to the next level. And um, coaching with players like you mm. is definitely so helpful. And just playing yeah, more it's, and it's, learning it's being, more. Being, being, being tenacious, being very unforgiving to yourself kind of um what i mean by that is not going for any compromises if you if you see mistakes you shouldn't be um happy with what you did you should obviously be happy with what, with what you did well <laughs> but you should really improve on things you don't do well at all like for example um you tend to not collect to not collect relics right mm -hmm. so um, you should do like one week of playing um, with one aim and one aim only, getting the relics. And when uh, at a certain point, you will always go for relics after like 50 games. I don't know. And when you're happy with that, you can go to the next step. Let's say I want to have um, a fully boomed eco by minute so and so. To okay. the day. And then you go forward. Obviously, your points of focus should always be the basic stuff first and then the more advanced stuff later. So sometimes when I get back into the game and I'm seeing like I'm not happy with how I'm playing, I start with the basics. I started getting a good start. Just focus on the start for a few games. Mm -hmm. Then I focus on getting my eco up, rating such and such and so and so so yeah i wrote those down because i want to do all those things i i think i'm i'm going to focus on relics that's definitely going to be my next goal and just trying to find challenges to be more aggressive and boom my ego mm. don't take bad fights um but really yeah. helpful advice 
Um, also, plateaus are totally normal. Sometimes you just fall off as well. I remember on Wubli when I was starting out, I was grinding a lot of Hans Wars. And at a certain point, like I dwindled around 15 to 1600. And at a certain point, I just collapsed down to 14 something in my DM rate. And okay. the following week, I was shooting up to 1700 and never going back down again. Wow. So these things just happen. Sometimes you'd also collapse before really improving. Um, it is very natural, actually, that your rating will progress slower than your actual skill level. So your skill will improve before your rating will improve. Your rating will tail behind. That's optimistic for all of us struggling. I definitely am on a decline right now. So I, I hope that means that I'm about to improve a lot. I know all these coaching that's where, sessions that's where, have helped. That's where the, ten, the tenacity comes in. Right. Yeah, exactly. Elo is just a number. It's just a place to put yourself as I, into. As I pointed out in my in my guide, Elo is an is a is an indicator of performance, not skill. Hmm. Exactly. And we don't have any DM events right now where we can kind of go against each other in a competitive setting. So I feel like we, we kind of emphasize the queue often, but Hopefully next time we announce an event, you know, people are really motivated to practice and then we can really see how we stack against other people in the community. I'm so, excited for that. Yeah, I'll, we'll keep you guys posted on the next event. Okay, so yeah. I'm off now. Uh, thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you and so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your stream. Thank right. you, Clemenza. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. Bye. Bye.